Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and we're back in King's Quest, and about... Oh, hello. To do something. <laughs> the baby swap? The fuck is this? Ah, another book. <gasps> We're gonna swap the old guy! I have a- ooh, I have a plan. Nightmares ever come true? Of course, but real monsters are far easier to deal with than imaginary ones. Interesting. What do you guys think of that statement? I would almost say it's easier to deal with the imaginary ones, but I can... Ugh. Goblins ruin everything. <sighs> Thank God, Mr. Fancy Cakes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Distress! Who was king? Enough! They're only stories. Can't you just enjoy them for what they are? You've missed the point entirely. Is this how you want your story to be remembered? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, That's very uh, Game of Thronesy. Um, Hi, baby. A new story. You can't see her, but Crazy Once says hi. Upon a time, there lived, uh, um, uh, uh, wow. Let me see what I got here. There lived a. Uh, let me try that again. Hmm. There lived, uh. Oh. Chester? There lived a wise little goblin who loved adventures. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Way to go, Mr. Miyagi. Adventures were so legendary, the goblins decided to make him king. Ah. But the goblin adventurer was out of his element and overwhelmed with the work it took to run a successful kingdom. Yeah, no his shit. Offered their... Heart. Stop it. Wow. But it wasn't enough. He was afraid he would never live up to the king who came before. It got so bad that the goblin gave up. But when packing up his things to run away from the castle, the goblin found... Uh, he... He found... He found... The hat? I think it's the hat. His old adventurer cap. And the goblin realized that he wasn't just here to continue the previous legacy. He was here to create his own. One filled with Compassion. 
and the best group of friends you could ever ask for. Ooh. I'm loving those freckles. God, this makes the heart feel good. And that's my story. Some of the details oh! have changed over the years, and I certainly left out some parts I wasn't fond of. But I found it's best to enjoy stories for what they are, and not for what you hoped they would be. Well said, Graham. Ah, you've fallen asleep again. I think it's time I do the same. <laughs> hmm. Bravo. Oh, no. Ooh. What? turned out. I, mm, well done, Sierra. Seriously well done. Oh, man. Just, Roberta Williams, I love you, girl, but this is actually far better than the original. The original was good, don't get me wrong, and we're still going to play more of this, but I feel like this is a good place to wrap up for today. And then in the next episode, we're going to get into chapter three, where I think we get to find ourselves a love interest. I'm curious to hear what you guys are thinking of this series so far. I'm trying not to knock out my earpiece. I... Only one of them had to wind up on the bed. But you know what? That's cool. That That's cool. I'm glad I got to save everyone else. I don't think you can get all of them and Mr. Fancy Cakes out, so no, I'm okay with that. I, oh, just the interweaving of this. I'm, mm. I don't think I've seen a, the Kickstarter yet for the next chapter, but honestly, I'm going to go take a look because I, I really want this game to not only complete, but I want them to see that there's a market for this, that this is just such a great, happy, inspiring, makes you think, challenges you, just one of those awesome games that I'd love to see more of because it really kind of puts you back in touch with that piece of your heart and you just feel better and yeah, it's no FPS and I know there's guys of you out there and girls who do love that but I, I'd like to see more of these kind of games. Um, like this, and Undertale, and games that not only challenge you mentally and physically, but also challenge you at the core and kind of bring you back in touch with the wonders of humanity. But anyways, I'm going to keep rambling on. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We're going to be back tomorrow with Chapter 3 and see what that has in store for us. Any likes, comments, subscribes, much appreciated. Definitely helps out the channel. And I will see you fabulous people in tomorrow's episode. Cheers!